In this video, let me consider one numerical on Thevenin's theorem. Find Thevenin's equivalent of the circuit shown below. This is the given circuit. We are supposed to find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit at a terminals A and B. That is, the Thevenin's equivalent circuit looks like this. There is a register, we will call it as RTH, which is in series with a voltage source VTH, where VTH is Thevenin's voltage, RTH is Thevenin's resistance. So, we have to find VTH and RTH with respect to this circuit. So, VTH is nothing but voltage between terminal A and B. It is also known as VOC. So, first let me calculate VTH, Thevenin's voltage. So, this is the circuit. We are supposed to find VTH at terminal AB. That is at terminal A and B. So, this is VTH or also known as VOC which is between these two so this problem I will solve using loop analysis method. This can also be solved using node analysis. I prefer using loop analysis method here. So I will assume current flowing in this loop is X and I will assume current flowing in this loop is Y. So in this circuit we can observe that there is a current source between two loops. If there is a current source between two loops we have to analyze current source first. So let me analyze the current source that is I can say 10 is equal to x minus y. x is x and y are the loop currents 10 is also current. So 10 can be expressed as x minus y. x is in same direction as 10 so I return first and y is opposite to that so it is x minus y. So here we can also observe that but here I can say y is nothing but vx by 4. Let me call it as equation 1. This is equation 2. Y is equal to Vx by 4. But here we can see that this Vx by 4 is voltage dependent current source. It is dependent on voltage Vx. Where Vx is voltage across 3 ohm register. So I can write Vx is equal to 3x. Voltage across 3 ohm register is 3x. So therefore now I can write this Y as Y is equal to we have Vx is nothing but 3x. 3x by so therefore now I can write equation 1 as 10 is equal to x minus 3 by 4 x 3 by 4 x or I can write 10 is equal to 0 0.25 x or I can write x is equal to 10 divided by 0 0.25 which is equal to 40. So therefore I can say x is equal to 40 here. So now we found the value of x. Now let me calculate y. So y is nothing but 3x by 4. y is equal to 3x by 4 or we can write 3 into 40, 120 by 4 which is equal to y is equal to 30. So x is equal to 40 and y is equal to 30. So now let us calculate VTH. VTH. So VTH is the voltage between terminal A and B. So this VTH can be expressed as VTH is equal to voltage across 5 ohm register plus voltage across this 3 ohm register plus voltage across this 3 ohm register. That is nothing but voltage between terminal A and B. So voltage across 5 ohm register is 5Y. That is 5Y plus this voltage across 3 ohm register is 3 into X and here also 3 into X. So we can write 3X plus 3x or I can write VTH is equal to 5 into y value is 30 plus it is 6x. This is 3x plus 3x is 6x. 6 into x value is here 40. So I can write VTH is equal to 150 plus 240. Therefore we can write VTH is equal to 390 volts. So this is VTH. So we found VTH. So now let me calculate RTH. So in this circuit, as we have a dependent source, if there is a dependent source, we cannot find RTH directly. So we are supposed to find, first we have to find short circuit current. So ISC can be calculated by shorting terminal A and B. If we short the terminal A and B, then current will start flowing in that terminal. That 
current flows in the terminal is nothing but isc so let me short a and b so here we have to short terminal a and b that is i will short these two terminal now current through this term path is known as isc now let me calculate isc so here again i will find isc using loop analysis method let me take this as current x let me take current in this loop is y and anyhow in this loop current isc is flowing so current in this loop is i will assume it as isc so now here we can see there is a current source between these two loops i can write it as 10 is equal to x minus y this is one equation and again there is a current source between these two loops so i can write it as vx by 4 is equal to y plus isc that is y plus isc and we know that vx is nothing but 3x here vx is equal to voltage across 3 ohm resistor that is 3x so let me substitute vx value here that is 3x by 4 is equal to y plus isc so this can be written as 0.75x i'll take y on left hand side minus y minus isc is equal to 0 let me call it as equation 2 here we can observe that once if we analyze the current source we should assume that current source is removed from the circuit if you remove these two current source then we will find only one loop this entire loop is known as super loop so we have to apply kvl to that super loop so apply kvl to super loop so i can say 0 is equal to i will start from here voltage across 5 ohm register is 5y voltage across 3 ohm plus 3 ohm that is 6x plus 6x or we can write it as 0 is equal to 6x plus 5y let me call it as equation 3 now we supposed to solve equation 1 2 and 3 for different values of x y and isc so let me solve these three equations using calculator so keep the calculator in equation mode choose unknown as 3 and feed the values we will get x is equal to 0 0.4545 we have y is equal to minus 5.4545 and we have isc is equal to this is 8.863 so we require isc value that is 8.863 so once if we calculate isc now we have to find rth so rth can be calculated as rth is equal to pth divided by isc so already we have found vth its value is 390 divided by isc is 8.863 8.863 so solving this we'll get rth is equal to 44 ohm so once if we find rth we have to draw the equivalent circuit so it is vth which is equal to 390 and here we have rth rth which is equal to 44 ohm this is a and this is b so this is thevenin's equivalent circuit thank you for watching